what we call possibly the toughest event on the planet. We are about to test your stamina, hoorah. Your toughness, hoorah. Your camaraderie, hoorah. Teamwork, hoorah. And after you've completed this challenge, you will know you are awesome. Hoorah. Especially when you see people that you know running it. Right. I'd love to go and support those who take this task on, but some of the visuals that we have of the Tough Mudder competition are exciting. <laughs> What's they, your favorite? My favorite part is right at the end, we have the electric shock therapy that they go through. We get them all muddy there, and then there we have is. our Samsung power foam cleanup. That's where everybody parties at, full of suds, having a great time. Oh, Those man. are my two favorites. Okay, so this was set up initially, there you are doing your thing, uh, set up by Navy SEALs. Yes. Uh, tell us about the course. If somebody's contemplating this, uh, they're fit, they're ready to do something, bond with their friends or family, what are they facing if they're taking on Tough Mudder? It is an incredible test of your willpower. That's what most people come for. A lot of people have just kicked cancer, they right. battled some sort of disease, somebody they might have known the past way that they're running for. It's not just the physical of it. And it's our British Special Forces, they designed this course to test all you got. And I'm telling you, everyone comes back. I'm having anxiety just watching this. Yeah. I'm so, you know, I, I bruise easily. Um, but I'm not afraid of the stamina side, as many people are. Like, you get out there and you'll work out and you'll work hard. But some of these ob obstacles are freaky, but you said you don't have see, to. See, and there's our electric shock. I know, that's that's funny, yeah, see? But you said you can opt around any of these. You can opt around any obstacle. Again, this is not a competition. Okay. This is about camaraderie. It's about teamwork. It makes it, makes it perfect. Every event I've done here in Canada, we were up in Whistler last year. Huge. I think we have like over 20,000 coming this year. We had yes. The same thing last year. And Canada just seems to be so perfect. You guys have that bonding, camaraderie, teamwork. It's like everybody knows each other before right. they even get here. 6,000 people show up to watch the Tough Mudder up at Whistler. They will yes. be there this weekend yes. doing so. So, um, now, your involvement, how did you start? Uh, I had a stand-up background, and my friend Clinton Jackson did it first. You'll see him at the end. He'll be, uh, and he said to me, Sean, this is great. you got to try it. I started in Virginia 2011 and have been doing it ever since. just fell in love with it. Again, it's just a great feeling. And, and you've actually done? I did it. I did the course in Temecula. And every now and then I'll drop the mic and sneak out there and right. run with people. Tell the story of that woman that you just We had a young lady, we were just up in Colorado, and she had a mile and a half to go, and she was just done. She was sounding like how you were saying, right. I'm done with this, I don't need all this. And I'm like, you got a mile to go. So I just dropped the mic and just walked with her, completed the rest of the course. She was so happy when she was done. I bet. Yeah. Motivating people. What is the... What is the number one thing that works for you when it comes to looking somebody in the eyes and knowing, I'm getting you to do this, I'm going to motivate you? How do you find it? Where do you get it? The most amazing thing is we've had this again where someone was actually crying because they like they, they feel like they can't do it. Mm -hmm. And then when you look at it, because I can see it, I can feel it, and I've seen it so many times. And then when I'm looking at it, I'm like, yes, you can. You certainly can do this. You've done a lot tougher already. You made it this far. And then you see them complete it, and you get that big hug at the finish line. Yeah. And they're like just so happy. And then they feel like they can do anything. It's not just this competition or this uh, this uh, challenge. They feel like they can take on anything in the world, and that's what makes it this. That is awesome. Thank you, Sean, for being here. MutterNation.com. Check it out. Uh, we will put this up on our website as well so people can revisit the 10 to 12 miles and 25 plus yeah. obstacle. <laughs> Try not to have a heart attack. Okay, I'll see. You know what? I'm more likely to do the Tough Mudder than the Grand Fondo riding the bike to Whistler. You'll so maybe you'll. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm